How to measure your pet for a crate? Hmm. Good question. Get yourself a measuring device, some Scooby snacks, mm -hmm. a pencil or tape, and what else? Oh yeah. Baxter. <laughs> That's that good boy. All pets must travel on crates that fully meet IATA regulations. That means you need three measurements. Length of animal from tip of nose to base or root of tail. Height of standing animal from top of the head or the ear, whichever is higher, to the floor. And finally the elbow, which is the height from the ground to the elbow joint. When measuring the length, I'm using a pencil to measure his nose on the wall. You can also use a piece of tape to mark your position. Then I, no, no. then I, Baxter, then I, then I placed the tip of his nose on the wall of the first position okay. and made a second marker at the base of his tail. Then I drew a vertical straight line on the second marker because you need to measure the length horizontally, not at an angle. Then I measured the height followed by the elbow joint and then made some calculations. Finally, I gave my measurements to Feathers and Fur Express to help me order the correct crate. Learn more in the description below. Good job, Baxter. Okay. Wow.